going on, everybody? DJ Coham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Vimes of Nose, baby. Today we got 16 mods of testing for PC. We have zero console mods of testing. With all those, some mods were released, but haven't made that video yet. Giant Software have released a new blog talking about ground textures for Arm Sim 22. 82 Studios putting some pretty lights on the back of the 3500. Sid Modding's got some class combine mods. Hammer some Modding's GNU 800s with Giants for testing. DJ Modding's got more screenshots of his next map. Agra Mods gives us a tour around their new farm. Plus, oh, that was it. Let's check it out. In testing for PC, we have the 725A Dumper, AGM Farm Silo Agronopolis Map, Bell and Vehicle Shelter, Barn with a Workshop, Chuckopsy's Strip Till, Euro Milk Rhino FX1000 HD+, Farmhouse, Great Plains 3S 3000 HD, Implement Wear Info HUD, Crampy Dolly 10L Enhanced, Lizard D83 Pack, Lizard ST6000 Seed Tender, Mikhail Fusion 3 Terminal, Old Brick Barn with Workshop, Seeding Complex, and Wooden Garden Gazebo. With all that being said, we still have zero mods city waiting to be tested and the current average waiting time for loose cemented mods is a one work day. At the time of recording this video, mods have just released, so stay tuned to the channel as I'll be working on a video and then releasing that after this one. Also, mods have been dropping a little bit later and later every day, so going forward, I'm probably going to start with a news video. Heads up there. Today, Giant Software released new information and a new blog post on the ground working tools and textures coming with Farming Simulator 22. Not only does the soil look more natural thanks to parallax occlusion, there's also new ground working systems and a lot of new ground textures to look forward to. Mulching, way more than bark chips for your backyard. While mulching is prominently known in domestic gardening through the use of bark chips, in Farm Sub 22, it becomes an integral part of increasing the yield as it is in real agriculture. Players mulch the narrow spaces between their brand new grapevines and olive groves with fresh cut grass to increase the soil quality while making everything look nice and clean or mulch the stubble left on the field after harvesting the other crops. Stone picking, a new type of enemy for virtual farmers out there. It's not just weeds anymore. Virtual farmers have to fight lying dormant in the ground stones that can be dug up by plowing or cultivating. To avoid the risk of damaging machines, players will have to remove them. Depending on the size, they either have to use a stone picker tool attached to the tractor or roll over them with new rollers, effectively sweeping them under the nutrient-rich topsoil at least for a while. So let's roll. Soil rollers increase the yield and are fun to operate as well. With spectacular looking agricultural tools called rollers, players can press small stones back into the ground to conceal the rocky consequences of cultivating. After sowing crops, farmers gain additional yield bonuses when rolling over the seed bed to compact the soil. Grassland farmers also gain a fertilizing state by rolling over their meadows. Oh yeah, and better looking soil too, a feast for farmers' eyes. Virtual farmers out there with an eye for detail also notice the all new ground textures. Basically, all ground textures have been revised for the upcoming Farm Sim 22 game, resulting in more visual diversity and authentic representation of the various soil types just like in real life. This was just a quick overview of the new information and features that released today. So if you want to know more, make sure you check out the video that I released this morning. I'll link that down below. Making our way into modern news today, starting off with 82 Studio, who teases us with a feature that's going to be coming with the TLX 3500 update version 1.1. As you can see here, he has added a new light bar on the back of the truck that goes with the turn signal. So motions left if you're turning left, motions right if you're turning right, and does like a double warning movement if you have your flash on. This is just one of the new features coming with the update. And to see everything, check out A2 Studios live stream tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. For those of you that have been wanting a class combine harvester mod, the wait is coming to an end as Sid Monning has started work on his next project, Class Lexian 600 Series. And he plans on recreating all the series in these combines as well. So, Class Lexian 600, 700, and new generations and old generations, as well as US and EU configurations. And oh, yeah going to be for all platforms. However, it wasn't said if these are going to be for Farm Sim 19 or Farm Sim 22, but we could see these for both games. There's enough time left to make that happen, but we just have to wait and see. Over the past week or so, we've been teasing the new GNU 800 series four-wheel drive tractor from Emerson Modding for all platforms, and today I have great news. It has officially been sent out for testing as of early this morning. Oh yeah! Mods do take time to get through testing, but keep an eye out on the Mod Hub testing list for updates on this one going forward. DJ Modding has some more screenshots from his next map, Red River Valley. You can see three different cities here. We have Pimbina, St. Vincent, and Emerson 
as well as the animal dealer in these photos. And he reiterated that this map will be a normal sized map, so like Ravenport of Felsburn, and will be for PC only and will not be coming to Mod Hub. He mentioned about two weeks ago that he'd be trying to get this out within two weeks, so we could see a beta or even version 1.0 really soon. And lastly, today we've got a new video from Agro Mods on their upcoming abandoned farm map, which they say is still very much so in development. But kind of getting there so let's take a look here we get a great look around the main farm as well as the surrounding areas this is a map being created for all platforms to give players the feeling of being in control of their own farming destiny where you take over an abandoned farm and bring it all back to life to its original glory you can also think of this as a survival roleplay farm if you guys want to do that as well as it basically serves the exact same purpose and idea if you want to see full video check out agromods Check out their Facebook page and below. And make sure you enter the Xbox giveaway if you haven't already. Winners are going to be chosen in less than 48 hours. Go, 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 go. Oh, yeah, and something, something, software segue to the outro here. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. No release dates for mods and myself, nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, Make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to Jump New, and join the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Tell you what these mods releasing at weird times have got me all thrown off can we just go back to like 5 30 in the morning that was cool